And we're giving you the first alert to August heat returning into the forecast. So if you've been loving this fall like weather, today's the day you want to enjoy the beautiful weather. Looking through our WNBF first alert weather app, those current conditions right now here in Myrtle Beach, 72 degrees, mostly sunny skies. It's just a nice change where yesterday we were cloudy. Today, expect to see a little bit more sunshine in the forecast. And if you're heading off to church this morning, look at our comfort index. You can also notice a little bit more muggy, but still comfortable on your way to church or breakfast this morning. And kind of looking at our moisture meter, we have winds coming up from the northeast, bringing that cooler, drier air across the PD. But here along the coastlines, we're still getting enough onshore flow to bring that humidity continue to rise here along the Grand Strand. Here's a look at the setup. We do have a weak disturbance. That's what's kept the cloud cover yesterday. This will also bring a slim chance for a stray shower in the afternoon, but this high pressure system will keep us relatively dry and mild, but that will start to change as we head into tomorrow. This high pressure system continues to slide down towards the south. When that happens, winds start to shift out from the southwest, and that's going to bring the hot and humid weather back into the forecast this week. And looking at our muggy meter, you can see that gradual increase as we'll start to reach in that miserable category as we approach Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Temperature wise, we'll continue to go up, but not as much as a huge heat wave as we'll see temperatures warming up by about four degrees into the upper 80s here along the Grand Strand. But with that high humidity, thanks to that tropical moisture, those triple digit heat indices uh, returning for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Our inlet forecast will continue to climb right around mid 90s for Wednesday and Thursday. Add the humidity aspect to it right in the past the century mark. So we're expecting heat indices as high as 103 to 104 across the Grand Strand of the PD. So we're not expecting any heat advisories for this week. Just know it's going to feel more like summer uh, for the week ahead, where the past couple of days it's kind of felt like fall and pretty much for the South Carolina seasons, we're in that false fall category where we have morning lows in the 50s and 60s, highs in the upper 70s. I mean, some people have been ordering pumpkin spice lattes. Even my wife was already decorating the house with fall decorations. We actually did that yesterday, a bunch of pumpkins everywhere. So everyone's in that false fall category. But with that forecast this week, they expect to see that second summer. And some folks may not like the warm weather. Luckily, I do have some good news. We are just four days away from John Clear football as Coastal takes on the Gamecocks, well, of Jacksonville State. That's at 8 p.m. kickoff. We'll see mostly clear skies, temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, slim chances for a stray shower. Then back at home for next weekend, we have racing NASCAR back in Darlington, the Southern 500 on Sunday. We'll have temperatures in the 90s. We'll continue to be warm and humid, bringing a chance for those uh, showers and storms, but overall for at least the next uh, couple of days, we're going to stay quiet, comfortable for now, but then we'll start to see that heat and humidity returning as we head into midweek. Triple digit heat in the seas and that heat and humidity will continue to bring better chances for those showers and storms as we approach the end of the work week.